Hi everybody. Welcome to the Dixie Bell Paint Company page on Facebook. I am excited to share with you that I am peeking down here, make sure it's on. It is. We are live. Thank you for coming. I'm Wendy Vaughn with the Elwyn Cottage. I am an elite retailer for Dixie Bell. I've been with Dixie Bell going on my seventh year. This is my first live on this platform on Facebook for you guys. And I'm here tonight, today, I usually do evening ones tonight, to talk about Crackle. There's a lot of fun things that you can do with all the different additives and embellishments that Dixie Bell offers. And I'm here to share Crackle with you. So we're gonna get crackling, right? Have any of you used Crackle before with your Dixie Bell products? We've got, it's in an eight ounce jar and it's a Crackle base. And now it's fairly thick, kind of, it reminds me of the consistency of melted glue stick, maybe a little thinner. And what's nice with this is it will give you, hey, is that Carol I see? Hello, hey, Christy, crackle time. Thanks for joining. I know you're all busy today. I appreciate you. Just pixie dust it around and share with your friends, tag some people that maybe have been on the fence about whether or not they wanna play with crackle. Let me tell you, crackle is so fun, okay? And hopefully today I can teach you a few little things to open up and expand your horizons about crackle because there's a lot you can do with it. I could do. I could talk all day. So, but we're not gonna do that. We've got about 45 minutes. So we're gonna go with that and see what we can do in that time frame. okay? First thing you do is you purchase your Crackle from your local retailer. If you don't have a local retailer, my link is up above. You're welcome to purchase it from me. It gets shipped right from Dixie Bell from Florida. So depending on your location, it may take a couple days. It may take a week and a half. So if you have that local retailer, definitely look them up. You can pick it up same day. And today's a perfect day. Especially if you're in Idaho, it's snowing. So. It's a nice day to get cracking inside. You get your jar, you take it home. You wanna acclimate your jar to be the temperature of your home. You don't want it outside, you don't want it too cold, it gets thicker. You don't want it too hot in the sun, it gets too runny. So make sure your crackle is room temperature from the inside of your house, in your comfort zone, okay? That's gonna give you the best results for your crackle. It is temperamental with weather. So make sure it's house temperature, depending on what your house is, okay? Read the directions fully on the back, please. Please read the directions. They're there not just to hold up the sticker, okay? So read your directions. With Crackle, one thing you don't wanna do is you don't wanna shake it and you don't wanna stir it vigorously. If you stir it vigorously and you shake it, you're gonna get lots of air bubbles, okay? So unless you want the air bubble effect, which I have here to show you, I did some what happens if you do this, you'll get this result you get lots of bubbles. This is just crackle on a clean jar. We'll get to this, the third step in a second, okay? So if you shake it and stir it too much, you're gonna get lots of bubbles. So be mindful of that if that's not the look you're going for. If you're going for a smooth finish on crackle, you'll wanna do long brush strokes. Hi, Yvonne. Hey, Ronnie. This is long brush strokes with the crackle, okay? So, hey, Serena. Hello, hello, ladies. Thank you, I know you're so busy. This means so much to me. So, depending on how you want your crackle to look is how you apply it, either shaken or stirred, things like that, okay? So, I have stirred mine earlier with just a stir stick. Also, it's nice when you don't shake crackle or your paint after your first opening keeps your lids really clean, okay? And you just stir it with a stir stick, gently, unless you want bubbles, okay? So we take it, you have a clean surface that's been painted. We're just gonna do here, I'm gonna take you through lots of steps today. So we're just gonna keep on moving. If I don't see your questions, I will answer them at the end. I'll go back through after and uh, answer all your questions. Cause I'm super excited. I wanna show you as much stuff as I can. And now if you're applying your crackle, you want it thick. You don't want it to be really thin because you want to have some texture. You're applying crackle because you want to have some crackling going on. Now, if you just want spider, spindly spider cracks, then do it thin. I like to do it super chunky and I like to daub and crisscross. You don't want to be like super meticulous unless you're going for that look. Now, if you want it to look like a wood grain, long 
straight strokes. And you don't wanna go over and over it because it's a thick medium, it starts to dry and gets tacky on the top, it dries from the top down. And so you just wanna leave it, put it on and leave it. If you get a few runs, you may wanna go back and just daub the runs to catch them. But once it starts drying, let it do its magic. And now with Crackle, what could you put it on? Anything clean, a clean surface, okay? So you can put it on the glass, you can put it on the wood, you can put it on plastic, you can put it on metal. This is a painted surface, it's clean, chalk paint, and then we're applying this Crackle as our second coat, okay? So you have your first coat, which is the medium underneath. Your Crackle is your second coat. Your Crackle works best if you let it dry overnight, okay? The longer you let it dry, which is a lovely thing about Crackle, it's not gonna hurt it. If you do it too soon and it's still wet because it dries from the top down and you try to put your paint over top of it, it's like putting wet nail polish over not dry nail polish. It kind of peels and gumps up. So make sure your Crackle projects, I usually do them. Today I would paint the base coat, the Crackle, and I'd wait till tomorrow to finish. Hey Becky, oh my gosh, good to see you my dear. Hello, hello. And so you'll put it on and let it dry. Don't play with it, don't fidget with it. Let it do its thing, okay? And that's what I love about Crackle. You can do several pieces at a time. I prepped all of these pieces and now today I get to put the top coats of color and just watch it happen because it's like magic. I use a cheap chip brush because it's fairly thick, fairly goopy, okay? I just throw the brush away when I'm done. No need to worry about a chip brush. You can wash it. Um, I would put it in a, a jar of water, clean it really well, discard the gray water, and then clean your brush in the sink. Because you're never sure with some of these chemicals, even though they're, they're safe, what if you didn't flush it down the drain? You don't want anything to clog up and get gunky, okay? So just always use a gray water wash, then wash your brushes in the sink with your scrubby soap. Now the fun, okay? So we've applied our crackle, it's drying. Now we're gonna play with the fun part. Now, for those of you that haven't seen crackle, I have some finished pieces. This was a white cabinet fluff with crackle. And then we put the golf over top. Okay, so that's what you're gonna get. So you think about what color you want as your base coat and that's what's gonna be the crackling underneath, okay? That's what's gonna give you the effect. Now I've got this piece here, which is an entry table that I put the crackle on yesterday. I cleaned it well, and then I put the crackle on. And so we're gonna put the paint over top, and while it's processing, I'm gonna show you some other tricks. So this is our entry table. Whoops. We're gonna lay it down here because I want you guys to see the top. You can see the drying and the variances of the crackle medium. There's a few bubbles. I wanted some, some heavier spots. So now you're gonna take your brush. I use a dry brush because I just like a dry brush with my crackle. You can mist it because I'm using the chalk paint. You can use silk paint. You can use patina. You can use metallics. It's really limitless, okay? So this is a coat of black, a coat of crackle, and now I'm going to put on rustic red. When you do this, you do not wanna overwork it. As soon as you put your brush of color over the crackle, it starts to react. So you wanna work, not super fast, but you wanna work at a quick pace. And I'm just gonna, and normally I don't paint backwards, but for you folks today, I'm painting backwards. So I really want you to see the effect. And I'm putting it on. The thicker you do it, the more dramatic the cracks are gonna be. And now I'm applying the paint the opposite direction that I applied the crackle, because I really wanna get some variances. You can lightly sand after if you need to. I like to have the texture. See now if I'm gonna start backing up over it, it's already cracking. It's hard, I'm gonna show you how, not, how to mess up, okay? <laughs> but you can tell the crackle is already wanting to do its thing. Hey, Shelly, 
Thanks for joining. Pixie does this around. Crackle is an amazing product and a lot of people are scared of it. This is the live to show you, don't be afraid. It's just paint. And I'm just, like I said, I'm putting it on here so you can see the reaction. Now, normally if this was my own piece, I would be going one direction because you don't want to overbrush because once you start brushing, it starts cracking and reacting. Okay, so it's already doing its thing. I'm gonna leave it there. I'm gonna work on this one down here. Well, this one I'm gonna go one direction. That's again, the other thing nice about Dixie Bell paint is it self levels. So even if you're a little heavy handed, which is what you want because you want your crackle to be most effective, you leave it alone, it will self level itself. You don't wanna spray water on your crackle that will gum it up and start activating it. The moisture in the paint is what activates the crackle. So if you're using a mist bottle because you want your paint to be thinner and you spray it on your piece, you're gonna have a mess because that water is gonna start reacting that crackle before you even have paint on it. And that's not something you want. Okay, so I've done this two pieces. And while they're activating, I'm gonna set them aside so I can show you a couple other little fun things. Now this is kind of gonna be an, like a Asian inspired piece with the black and the red. It's gonna be beautiful. It'll be perfect in an entry, entryway. So that's how easy it is to do a basic coat of paint. Hey Cam! Thank you. Do you have snow down there? We have snow here in Idaho today. You do a basic coat of color. Then you do your crackle. The base coat is what's gonna be the crackle color peeking through. After the crackle dries, preferably, I prefer 24 hours. Doesn't have to be that long, but I like 24 hours, nice and hard. It can even be a week later before you go back to it, which is really nice with crackle. And then when you put your top coat on, your second coat is gonna be the image through the crackling, okay? Now, what I like to do is use my crackle. I kind of love crackle. I love patina. Those of you that know me. And this piece here has been painted, has been crackled, and been gator hide. Okay, this is one of the favorite things I like to do. Because this is cute. It's a repop, but it doesn't look really old. Okay? Oh, thank you, Karen. Thank you. So what I've done is I've put on the paint, the crackle, and the gator hide. And when I put the gator hide on, I'm using it as my second color, okay? So now the gator hide has reacted the crackle. Hopefully you can see that. It gives it a texture. And now I'm gonna take it one step further with my favorite, my favorite things, Dixie Bell products, can you tell? This is Voodoo Sting. If I can open it, yep. So over the top of the gator hide that has now made a crackling image, I'm gonna take some of my Voodoo, or my Van Dyke Glaze, and I'm gonna put it on there. grab an applicator pad really quick. It's right here behind me. Any kind of applicator pad, paper towel, anything like that. And help remove the top coat. Usually I give it a few minutes to react. But for you today, I'm gonna speed it up just a little bit. And now I'm putting this over the crackle and over the gator hide medium. The, the crackle with the gator hide has already created aged cracks. And when you use your Van Dyke glaze, it adds aging. So if you want something to look really old world, like it's been around for a really long time and you've bought it because it's a repop and you love it, 
you can do this to it, okay? You can give it a look of age, just that one more step. I'm giving it a few minutes to cure into those little nooks and crannies, but it's gonna take this cute, flat, painted repop piece and really give it some age. One of the few times you actually want to enhance your age is with crackle and the Van Dyke glaze. It's, it's looking so good. And it's not me, guys. It's these amazing Dixie Belle products. And like I said, if you have not tried some of these additives, please, please, please look for your retailer. Please go to my link up above and order some of these fun things. If you order them and you get them home and you're not sure what to do, rewatch this video. Give me a call, give me a text, Elwin Cottage. Look at that. How fun is this? Okay, this, this is my wheelhouse right here, okay? Taking these new repop items, shiny items, and giving them some character, you know? It's cute and you see it at the store and everybody buys one. Okay, well, you all got the same thing on the shelf at your house. Be unique. Grab some, some crackle, grab some glaze, because you know when you buy these Van Dyke glazes, or the, the black, I love the Van Dyke, that's my favorite. This little four ounce jar is gonna last you a long time. So why not come up with some other amazing things to do with this glaze? It's not just for pretty cabinets. Okay. So, what a difference. Store-bought, vintage patina crackled. And it took two seconds, okay? It's gonna dry because it's the Van Dyke glaze. No top coat is required. But if you wanna take it even one step further and you want it to look even a little more aged, stir up that flat top coat, which you rarely use, and put it on there. It's gonna give it that flat, all the sheen is worn off because it's such an old piece. And now it's gonna be really flat and grungy and crackly. Beautiful, beautiful. So you've turned your four day old piece into a 40 year old piece or more. So that's my favorite with the glazes. And you can use any of the glazes. You can use any of the paints. Glazes work the best for that aged crackle. You can do it over portraits. You can do it over canvases. If you've got a beautiful uh, canvas image and you want it to look old world, clean it like a landscape or an old family portrait on a canvas, clean it. Put, I would put a thin coat of satin over it because you don't know if it's painted. You don't want to really get too crackly unless you like that look. I do. Put your crackle over it. Let it dry. Put your glaze over it. You've got old world vintage canvas paintings. Super fun, okay? Super fun. Now, back to the regular land of crackle. Duck. Vintage duck egg. Crackle. Dried overnight. You always really want to have a good contrast with your crackle colors and your mediums. So we're going to go with this one. We're going to go with orange. And I'm just using the Dixie Belle Florida Orange. I like it a little bit waterier than the normal crack, um, crackle. Chalk paint medium. It's usually pretty thick, which is great. But for this kind of an application, I like it a little thinner. The water reacts faster, it dries faster, and you get those, those bold crackles. So again, I just use a chip brush, doesn't have to be fancy. I'm gonna put Mr. Duck up here so you can see him a little better. And I appreciate it, looks like quite a few people on there today. Let me know where you're from. Let me know if you've tried crackle before. If you have a piece you've been hesitant about putting crackle on, ask us some questions. There's plenty of retailers on here. We can all give you some, some advice and tips and inspiration. So again, you're going to follow one direction. And now if you do not stir your crackle and you just open the jar and you start working with it and it doesn't crackle and you think, oh my gosh, I have a defective jar of crackle. It's not working. It's because you did not stir it. That is true to crackle, to patina. If things say stir well, 
take heed and stir well. Because if you don't stir it, those, those components that are in that jar are sitting at the bottom that are the reactors and it's not gonna work for you. And you're gonna be disappointed. So again, you don't rework it, you just apply it and let it do its thing. I can't wait to show you the tabletop here in a second while it's been reacting. And now let's say you've done the crackling, you just really don't like it and you wanna cover it up, you don't like the grooves. How do we fix this, Wendy? What do we do? How do we get rid of the crackle now that we've done it and we don't like it? Well, you could sand and sand and sand and sand some more, or you could add a little bit of sea spray to your paint, not a lot, just a little bit to give it a thickness, and almost spatula spread it on to cover and fill the holes, almost like a spackling or you can use mud. You can thin the mud down a little bit with water and just put a nice thin coat of mud over your piece to again, fill in the crackles, let it dry, and then lightly sand to smooth finish. Those are easier ways than trying to completely sand off all of the crackle. But I can promise you, once you put the crackle on there, you're really gonna love it. And you can put on a second color. After that second color dries, then you can add um, a glaze again. You can add gilding waxes. Just because you've done your crackle and your top coat, there's doesn't have to be done. You can just keep going. And I like my little duck here because he has a nail on the bottom where he's an old decoy with a string out in the pond. So, but yeah, so here he is, orange and vintage duck egg. We couldn't be two more different colors. You can put it in front of some heat. I recommend a low heat, kind of farther back so it can do its own drying time. Just speed it up a little bit because you don't want to go too fast because you want it to do its reaction time. You don't want to get in too big of a hurry that it doesn't have time to crackle. And so now this one, we've done crackle over just a clear jar. We've cleaned it and we've crackled it. And this one was right after I stir it and shook it really bad, you know, really stirred it vigorously, shook it so you could see what it does. It gives you lots of bubbles. And now if this is not what you're going for on your furniture, don't shake it and don't stir it. Are you excited, Serena? You, oh, you are gonna love it. It is so fun, okay? Open the jar. It's super, super fun. And like I said, when you do lots of pieces, open that jar and just put crackle on all kinds of things. Wait till tomorrow, like I did today, and you have all kinds of fun all day long. So we're gonna work with a clear jar, and let's go with, we're gonna do patriotic. I'm feeling patriotic, let's do blue. How cute would three of these jars done, red, white, and blue, tea light candle inside, because of the clear crackle, the light's gonna radiate for 4th of July, barbecue, any color scheme. And again, I've made my paint a little, a little runnier with a little bit of water as opposed to our regular chalk paint. For me, it's quite thick. We live in a drier climate. So I like it to be a little thinner, just maybe 10% water. It doesn't have to be a whole lot thinner, but I like to have that reaction. Put on your one coat and don't back over it because if you do, it's gonna start filling in the holes that's already starting to crackle that you've created. So you're actually counterproductive. You're working against yourself. And I'm just doing straight lines. So I get kind of a woodland effect, a wood grain. And I put the crackle on around the jar and I'm painting up and down. So now, Serena, if you're excited about the crackle, I bet you know somebody else who is too. Tag them in this. Share it with them. Let them see how fun. After everybody's mastered the, the chalk paints, Dixie Bell has such a line of things you can do. Yesterday, Christy did an amazing one about patina and faux patina. So I've painted the jar, and literally it's just been moments, and it's already starting to pull away. Now, another thing I could do after this jar dries is I could go back with some pearl glaze over it 
Still, it'll be transparent. You can still see the crackle, but it'll give that shimmer to it that's really pretty, okay? I still got a few minutes, good. This one here is a vase, store-bought. I've put crackle on this side. I've put crackle and gator hide on this side. So again, this is taking a piece that you have in your home. I don't think you can see it, but there's a little bit of crackling division with the gator hide. This side you can definitely tell is still shiny from the crackle. Do I have, nope, you do not have to use slick stick for jars. Um, a lot of people like to use slick stick. I personally have been selling Dixie Bell since before there was slick stick. <laughs> I clean it really well with white lightning, I rinse it, and I paint it, okay? Um, same with this surface here. This is a slick glazed vase. I clean it really well with white lightning. You can lightly scuff sand it if you feel the need to, because glaze will scuff sand. Rinse it thoroughly again, and then apply your product. Love the products. So what we're gonna use on this one, where we've already painted the gator hide over the crackle. So you have the glaze, orange color, which is our first base. The crackle is our second base. The gator hide is our third coat, basically, of color. I've only applied crackle and gator hide. So two coats applied. Now I'm gonna follow up with voodoo stain. Because say what? Yes, voodoo stain. You can use voodoo stain. I'm gonna use black. The colors that are college are orange and black. So how appropriate to make a vase, orange and black. Whenever you use our Voodoo gel stains, they are water-based, they separate. So you shake, 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 shake. Unlike Crackle, where you gently stir. Voodoo, you shake, 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 and shake some more. If you let it set for a few minutes between applications, go back and shake it again before you use it. You want it nice and thick, the medium should be nice and thick. If you pour it out and it's runny, shake it some more. And now again, just like I did with the glaze, I'm gonna put this on and then I'm gonna wipe some back because I want it just to adhere in the crackling that the gator hide did. And this is the Voodoo gel stain, which is a water-based stain. Now sometimes, if you're painting, as you see the crackling start, if you paint the same direction as the crackling, it's going to just come right off. So you'll want to paint the opposite direction of the crackles so it will stay in the cracks. This is gonna make this vase, only on one side, look really cool. And I wanna show the diversity of our products. So when you pop into Dick, to Elm Cottage next in Pocatello, you'll see this two-toned vase, and you'll say, I saw that on the, the live. And so now we're gonna go, oh my gosh, you guys, ah! Okay, do I love what I do? I wish, you know, I wish it showed more. This is stunning, okay? Give me some hearts. You know that's pretty cool. Old crackled glazed amazement right there. Isn't that cool? I love it. And I will follow up with some really close up staged photos for you in this group after. Look at that. Okay, and that is on a store-bought vase, cleaned, Crackle, Gator Hide, and Voodoo Stain. Okay? That took this vase to a whole nother level. Okay, now I'm gonna do it on the other side with the stain, but now it's only, this is gonna be Crackle and then Voodoo Stain. Now mind you, I love Crackle. I have so many tricks up my sleeve about crackle. I'm not gonna get to them all. I might have to do a crackle part two. 
keep you guys interested. I like vases because you put your hand in them. You can see that okay. And now this is the crackle medium and it has not cracked yet. So now the way I apply the brush strokes with the stain is how it's going to start reacting and crackling. So again, one and done. Put it on and leave it. Let it crackle. And this one's really pretty. It's kind of a sheet seashell. I bet you're gonna go home and you're gonna look at some of those vases and things around your house that you're just kind of like, eh, they're just simple. A lamp, you could do this to a lamp just to give it a, a different look. You know, you get tired of your products and things that you have at your house, your furnishings, you don't have to get new ones. Just grab those Dixie Bell products and go to town. And if you want some inspiration, you know to find it here or to find it on the Chalk Mineral Enthusiast page or at the Ellen Cottage on Facebook. Lots of resources for inspiration. And we'd love to see your inspirations. Go to the Chalk Mineral paint page and things you've done with Dixie Bell and share. We're a team. That's what's nice about crafting and artisans. We all support each other. So now I've put this on here. This is the Voodoo stain. This is the second coat. This is what I applied the gator hide on the other side. So we're going to wait for this to dry. And while it's drying, it's going to react and do crackling. But oh my gosh, you, I'm in love with this. Look at that. Old world crackle right there. Taking those new pieces and giving them old life. For sure. Okay. Let's take a peek at that table, shall we? And now it dries at different um, times because when you paint on the table, it's an uneven coating of paint, of course. So it dries different times. So you just have to be patient and let it totally cure and dry. But take a peek. See how it's drying? Look at that. So pretty. Okay, and you can still see it's still wet. It's still taking its time. This is the hardest part about crackle is waiting for the paint to dry. Watching paint dry is really taking a new art form when you use crackle or patina because you literally just watch it dry and you're just amazed at what it does. And now, there's another piece. Here it is. This piece here, I'm just going to show as a visual board for you. This was painted a blend of greens. Let's see, right here. Blend of greens was on the inside. I do a lot of sample boards when I'm at my shop, showing clients, metallics, things like that. We put the crackle medium on the inside of this cabinet door. And we painted it this direction. Okay, and then I showed them how Voodoo Stain reacts to give you a wood grain. They had a laminate cabinet and they wanted to get some wood grain texture. It looks like old wood with old, probably, you know, crackled aged paint. So these are three different mediums with the Voodoo Stains. Tobacco Road is my favorite. Up in Smoke. And then the white one. I can't remember the white one's name, but it's there too. So, again, do not think that your crackle is just for paint. It's not. If anything, I think it works better with your voodoo stains and your glazes. They're thinner, they're more water to them, so they react quicker, they dry quicker, which I like, and it's, it's, it's there, it's permanent. It has a flat surface, it has a flat sheen. It's just amazing. So here I have, a cute little cardboard. This had hot sauces in it. Just a little cute cardboard, super cute. I put some, I cleaned it, put some of the crackle on it, and now we're gonna paint on it. And see, this is what's fun. If you just take a day and you just crackle everything that gets in your way 
and do different techniques, splatters, splats, long lines, crisscross, hatching, the different ways that you apply your crackle is gonna give you different reaction lines. And now let's say you've overworked it and it didn't crackle like you want and you're really disappointed in the outcome and you really want it to be a crackled piece, it's okay. Maybe you just need to let it dry and then start over. There's no wrong way. Maybe now your top color is gonna be your bottom color. Add another coat of crackle and try it again. Because again, that's what's nice with these products. Because they're water-based products, you can layer upon layer upon layer. You can have it like this in your house for two years. You're tired of it. You can paint over it. Okay, so this is just cardboard. And we're just going to let it react. It's already trying to. And see what happens. Bring up Mr. Duck. Now, I'll remind you, this was Crackle. I painted him one coat of crackle and then this coat of orange and it's starting. It's still very wet. Hi, Lisa. Thanks for popping on. I hope you're getting inspired for crackle. I know the middle of the day is kind of a hard time for people, but please, if you catch this on a replay, let me know it's a replay. Ask questions. I will follow up with you. I'm Wendy from the Elwin Cottage out of Pocatello, Idaho. I'm an elite retailer. I've been with Dixie Bell over seven years. My, my affiliate link is in the top if you're inspired to uh, purchase some crackle and give it a go. Um, if you don't want to wait for it to be shipped, look up your local retailer. There might be somebody around the corner you didn't even know was there. And go give them a visit and they'd love to share with you about all the different products. And this is just one of many that Dixie Doll has, the crackle medium. This is getting really pretty too. This is the, the glass jar. And now what's nice with it crackling like this is I can put a tea light in there and it's really gonna radiate some light out of this jar. No need to top coat it, but if you wanna add a sheen or a pearlescent glaze, that would be really pretty. That's more of a, qu a quackle. <laughs> Tammy, that's perfect. He is a quackle now. He's not a crackle duck, he's a quackle duck. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. But so far, oh man, this vase, look at that. And it's almost like a watched pot. If you watch it for too long, it doesn't want to do its thing. It's starting on this side. But see how longer it takes for that to dry and do the crackling as versus the gator hide and then the stain. Oh, love it. In case you didn't know, I love it. Love it. Now, Winnie, can we do it on regular wood and do a crackle? You sure can. Hey, there's a cabinet. High gloss out of a 1940s kitchen. This side is still just high gloss cleaned. This has got crackle on it, okay? And so I want the crackle, I want the wood to show underneath it, but I want it to have a beautiful grain. So we're gonna go with, I'm, I'm in a red mood, red, white, and blue. Very patriotic today. Let's go with red. Kind of a red orange. Nope, I want red. Again, I like to dilute some, put them in little containers so they're easy for little small projects. It's just out of my full size jars, add them into those little ones, add a little bit more water. So it's always ready to go. So when you're ready for that craft project, you've got your little craft containers ready to go when that creativity strikes. Another brush, I am gonna do a little bit of water on the brush, just because this is one of my thicker premium chip brushes. So I'm gonna add a little water. Now we've got clean board that has a gloss finish. Now we have a heavy daubed, I daubed it on, crackle. And now we're using the red paint. And I can't tell you how much it means to me, you guys. This is my first live with Dixie Bell, in case you haven't already guessed. I'm kind of excited. And so I appreciate you coming on. Now here I'm gonna do like a hatch. Oops just to give you a different, sorry, I dropped my earbud. They don't play well. A different look. Now remember, our paint kind of self levels, but when you're doing crackle, you're wanting a mixed media and a texture already. 
So we're just gonna go with this hatching, thatching, and see what happens. Because there's no wrong way in your painting. Especially with water-based products. Dixie Bell, VOC free, no smell, no odor. Water-based, dries fast. You can work indoors, especially on a snow day. Get creative. Think outside the box. I'd love to see some of your ideas after today. Post some, some photos, some images. What have you done? Just remember not to back brush over your paint. Once you've put your paint on there, just let it do its thing. Okay. Thank you, Jacqueline. Hey, Donna. So that, I think, is going to be a really fun cabinet door look. And like I said, these are all just inspirations. And that's what's fun about getting some extra pieces of wood, doing you, playing around with it, seeing what's happening. But again, my old world favorite. We're going to do it one more time for those of you that maybe didn't see it or just jumping on. I've painted it. I've put a decoupage paper over it. I've put satin over the top of that. I've put crackle over the top of that. Now with gator hide. And now we're gonna use some glaze. And again, I'm gonna use my voodoo. I just really love my brown voodoo. It really gives me that old world feel. Sometimes you're, or not voodoo, you're Van Dyke. I get the two mixed up. Voodoo Van Dyke, it's the brown. I like both the browns. But the Van Dyke Brown is my favorite for old world vintage, okay? And you've got to go opposite. You can see where the crackles are. And so you want to go opposite so it gets down into those little grooves. And with the Van Dyke Glaze, you can almost let it almost dry. Take a damp applicator pad or a cloth or a baby wipe. I know some people like to use baby wipes and wipe off the excess. But this, if you want old world, if you have a Hoosier, maybe you've restored and you want it to have that old grandma's kitchen cupboard crackling lead paint look, but not the lead paint. This is your medium. This is it. Okay. Crackle, rackle lacking. Now this is taking this new piece of wood and aged it to glorious perfection. You can do this over transfers. You can do this over tissue paper, over posters, over decoupage. It's limitless what you can do, okay? Best thing to do is if you're unsure of the piece that you've put down and how that crackle is going to react to that tissue paper, <coughs> excuse me, before you put your crackle down, just like before you put your gator hide down sometimes over dry rub transfers or tissue paper, it's very sensitive and maybe it doesn't like those chemicals and it kind of peels up and tries to run away. So when you use tissue paper or dry rub transfers, Put a clear coat of satin first, just a thin one. Doesn't have to be real heavy, but it's gonna give them a barrier of protection between the tissue and the crackle, okay? And that's gonna preserve the look of your tissue or your transfer underneath. You're gonna put the satin coat down, then a coat of crackle, let it dry completely, overnight preferred. Then you can put your gator hide on, let it dry and then apply your, your glaze or your stain or your paint. If you're gonna use paint to do this old world technique, please thin it down like almost 30% water to 60% paint. Give yourself a light wash that's gonna absorb into the crackle and not cover the whole piece. So, all right, I think my time is almost up. I hope that I've inspired you and you're excited. I appreciate you guys being on here. Pixie dusted around, hit replay. Let me know you're on here, ask questions. I look forward to doing more Dixie Bell Lives for them in the future. Thank you for being here for my first one. Follow me along on Facebook, The Ellen Cottage, and affiliate link up above, find your local retailer. Have a blessed day.
Bye.